Imagine that you or a loved one gets diagnosed with lung cancer. The doctor gives you some treatment and says that they'll be able to know whether the treatment worked or not in about a year. That sounds ridiculous, right? A whole year? You could be dying here. Well, unfortunately, this is the reality for many people fighting lung cancer. One out of every 12 of us will be diagnosed with lung cancer. And you might be thinking, no, not me. Lung cancer is a smoker's disease, but it's not. More than half the cases of lung cancer are diagnosed in people who don't smoke. At the first stage of lung cancer, the cancer is a small lump in the lung, like the one you see in red in the first image on the slide. At this stage, the standard treatment is surgery. But as you can imagine, many people don't qualify for it. So instead, they get a type of radiotherapy called stereotactic ablative radiotherapy that kills the tumor by directing beams of ionizing radiation at it, like the ones you see in yellow in the, metal, in the middle image of God. To figure out if the treatment worked or not, doctors look at the scans that are taken after treatment, like the ones I've got in the third image on the slide, and look at that spot where the tumor was before to try to see if there is some sort of thing growing there again. And normally, this works. But this type of radiotherapy causes changes in the lung that are benign, but that make it look like there's a growing tumor there to a doctor. Because of this, and with the current tools that they have, it takes doctors over a year to diagnose a true case of recurrent cancer. A year is a long time, and lung cancer moves fast. So, for our research, we're developing a new tool for the doctors. We're basically training a machine learning algorithm on images that we know turned out to be benign or turned out to be cancerous and having it learn the difference. This is not much different from teaching a child how to tell the difference between a duck and a goose. Basically, for both, we give them examples of what we want them to differentiate and they find certain patterns and characteristics that are important for each item. And with that and with enough examples, they're able to tell which is which. At this point, our algorithm is able to differentiate cases of cancer from benign changes at six months after treatment, which is half the time that it takes right now. So in the future, those of us who will be fighting lung cancer won't have to wait a whole year to know if we've won the battle. Thank you.